We finally have some news about the last chapter update for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, its release date, a number of story implications and way more coming from a recent article released by Ubisoft. In the video we're also going to discuss the recent news about the post launch for the game, the most unwelcome update about New Game Plus and the permanent hood on feature that is going to land in the game very soon, so let's not waste any longer, let's dive into the recent Assassin's Creed Valhalla news. As we mentioned, Ubisoft has released what looks to be the final or one of the final update articles dedicated to the post launch of Assassin's Creed Valhalla and it's packed with information. It started as most final pieces of communication with a throwback to the support that the game has received since its release two years ago in November 2020 and the achievements that it got like the 20 million players that have been recently celebrated. The article looked back at all the adventures faced by Eivor in year 1 with the Wrath of the Druids and Siege of Paris expansions, the Mastery Challenge, River Raids and Tombs of the Fallen updates, the Festivals, the Discovery Tour expansion and of course the crossover with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, before having a look back also at year 2 with the not well received Dawn of Ragnarok expansion, the Forgotten Saga game mode and the conclusion to the Mastery Challenge and Tombs of the Fallen experiences. And finally, the article moved on to tackle the next and final major update to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, that is, the last chapter. Just in case, it's been two years, but because we're going to talk about the ending of Valhalla, spoiler alert here. We did already know that the last chapter is going to be the epilogue of Eivor's story, where Eivor is going to finally come to terms with Odin's memories within her, she's going to leave the village of Ravensthorpe and meet King Alfred of Wessex and King Harald in Norway and likely we might also get to know how Eivor ended up in Vinland where she eventually drew her last breath. But now we also know the release date for the last chapter, which is going to be December the 6th, that is a little more than 15 days from now. The last chapter will be made available for free through a new update called Update 1.6.2 and as we'll see later, this update won't only contain what is here described as a touching and intimate conclusion to Eivor's saga. Nonetheless, through the article we got to know more about the last chapter. For starters, it looks like it will tie up some of the storylines developed through the main game, something that was already sort of hinted at by game director Gareth Glover back in September at the Assassin's Creed Showcase. We also can see a new promotional screenshot from the update where we see the same scene from the trailer that we saw back in September, but with Eivor dressed with the upgraded Ravenclan set and Odin actually having his eye patch and the original Ravenclan outfit. Outfit. Ubisoft also released the requirements needed to access the last chapter and it's pretty interesting from a lore standpoint. In fact, players will have to complete the whole main storyline of the main game, pacifying all the territories of England including Hamptonshire, they will have to complete both mythological arcs of Asgard and Jotunheim, but critically not Dawn of Ragnarok and Svartalfheim, they will have to upgrade the settlement to level 5, that is a village, and build the Yom's Vikings barracks and also, most importantly, Importantly, kill all the targets of the Order of the Ancients and unveil their leader. Like I said, these requirements do tell a lot about what we can expect from the story of the last chapter. They're like the episode specific previously ons for TV shows which brief you exactly and only on the info you need in order to understand what you're about to witness, and here it's the same. You need to pacify all of England which means you need to witness the battle of Chippenham with Guthrum and the death of several of Eivor's allies. You need to complete the Asgard and Jotunheim arcs which means something connected to Odin the Isu and most importantly the Sages and the Seventh Method is going to happen in the last chapter, but critically, like I said, you don't need Dawn of Ragnarok so I wonder if anything concerning the Baldur and Salakar storyline will actually come into play here. You'll need to upgrade the settlement to level 5, which means Eivor will have to leave Ravensthorpe after it's become a proper village, not at the start of it, but you'll also have to build the Yom's Vikings barracks, so I imagine some raiding could be involved here. And finally, you'll need to complete the entire story of the Order of the Ancients and uncover that Alfred is their leader, meaning that the Hidden Ones and the Order of the Ancients are also going to be involved, as some of the recent rumors shared by Andy Relo seem 
to report and most likely we might be seeing Alfred as he's putting in place the reformation that is going to lead to the Templar Order. So it seems like we're in for a pretty interesting story and we only have to wait for a little more than two weeks but like I said update 1.6.2 won't bring only the last chapter. In fact, the Assassin's Creed team has also shared some more production and gameplay-wise updates concerning Valhalla and its post-launch. First of all, the time-limited festivals will cease to appear in the game, which I can very much understand, and all the rewards connected to them will actually be made available in the various merchants across England after completing the quest the first night of Samhain from the Gloucestershire arc of the main game. Moreover, it looks like the team will also add some new rewards with update 1.6.2, so fans can expect those as well, but of course, the big elephant in the room was another one. In fact, with this article, the Assassin's Creed team announced that there will be no new game plus coming for Valhalla. The team is citing that Valhalla was built very differently from its predecessors, and because of that, the implementation of new game plus would have not felt quote unquote unique and rewarding, at least in the option explored by the team. This comes as a pretty big blow considering that more than one dev has commented throughout these years about the team at least studying and exploring potential ways to bring New Game Plus to the game, but even in these cases the devs always sounded very uncertain, so while there were a lot of expectations on this, this also shouldn't come too much as a surprise. So, some pretty negative news about a heavily requested feature, but in exchange for those, the team also announced some good news about another frequently asked feature, which is the ability to keep the hood up at any time. The article specifies that the toggle will be located in the in-game options menu, and it will allow Eivor to keep the hood equipped even when removing the cloak. The team also shared a brief video to show that you can keep the hood on even while fighting, while running and even while walking without your cloak on. It's specified that it's going to be a cosmetic only option, meaning that if you run or don't use your cloak, chances are you're going to get spotted even if you have your hood on and I think that's possibly the best implementation to fit every playstyle. And finally, it looks like update 1.6.2 will also bring some more content, though it does look like the team will keep it under wraps until the final update article and the actual conclusion of the communication about Valhalla and its post launch. So what to make of all these news? I honestly am pretty interested in finally seeing the long awaited conclusion to Eivor's story, but at the same time I can't but feel a little sour taste about how things have been handled during the post launch for the game and what they have led to. I would say that the post launch ends on an overall kind of disappointing note if you look back at the whole development and execution over the last two years, with most of the pet expansions never really developing the character of Eivor, who many players described as none the wiser to everything that was happening to her, and with the actual development of the character being expected to happen pretty much only in the final and free release of the post launch and all at the same time. And that's for what concerns the story, but the end of the support gameplay wise doesn't look that better either. I honestly am not interested in the festivals, but I know that the majority of players have been waiting for New Game Plus and their hopes have been kept up, even if with uncertain messages, for over two years by several comments by the Ubisoft devs and receiving only now the news about it not happening. It's not really an amazing look, though I guess that maybe they tried until the end. The always on hood up option is a nice and welcome addition for sure as it's been asked by many players over these two years, but having it now that the support is about to end? Even if it's likely we're going to have some combat scenes in the last chapter, I can't but feel that while it is a welcome addition, this should have happened a lot of time ago so that players could enjoy it as the other story and gameplay updates were being added to the game. I know, it's easy to talk from this side of the barricade, I just feel a little sorry that this feature will likely go underutilized compared to the effort that I imagine went in creating it. 
So that's pretty much everything we know about the ending of the support for Valhalla and the much awaited last chapter of Eivor's story and considering that there's not going to be any new game plus, unless the content kept under wraps is game changing, it's very likely that after the last chapter we'll all move on to Assassin's Creed Mirage and some more news and especially the coveted gameplay that everyone has been asking for, but if you'd like to already get up to date with the recent Mirage news, we have just the video for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.